Hey everyone, welcome back to your favorite pirate crew. Today we are going to talk about Shanks revealing that Luffy can eat two devil fruit and gives him another legendary fruit. If you would like to see more about One Piece in our channel, please leave your thumbs up and subscribe to join our pirate crew. But pirates, before we continue with the video, I ask that you already subscribe to our channel, that way you will join our pirate crew and earn a devil fruit or master your favorite hacky. It would also help our crew a lot if you leave your like, thumbs up on today's video, so together we can become Yonkos. Now let's continue with today's video. One of One Piece's biggest mysteries involving characters, apart from some elements like Shanks, would certainly be Blackbeard. He is assumed to be one of the main antagonists that will need to be defeated in the future, having a rather curious devil fruit that to this day raises several questions among the fandom. Is it possible that Marshall D. Teach was really able to possess two Akumas no Mi? Did this happen because of his fruit, or for some other reason that we still don't know? Could more people than him be able to possess more than one devil fruit? Would Luffy himself be able to make this happen? That's what we'll talk about in today's video. Before we can talk about this crazy theory, do you remember who Burgess was? For those who don't, he was basically a man also nicknamed, Champion, being the helmsman and one of the ten colossal captains of Blackbeard's pirates, being captain of the first ship. Due to his actions, he is one of the main antagonists of the Marine Ford arc and the tertiary antagonist of the Dressrosa arc. He seemed to know how to extract fruit from users who consumed and devil fruit. As we saw in the story, he had a grandiose certainty that he would have the devil fruit for himself and specifically said that it would be yours. When we keep this idea in mind, a few considerations can be taken here. The first is that possibly Burgess could know a way to absorb power directly from Luffy's body, like what happened with Whitebeard, and make that power his. Or, he would have a bag with fruit in it that he has an almost 100% certainty that it will become Gomu Gomu no Mi once he dies. He could possess the fruit for himself or even Blackbeard himself, although the latter Yonkou's question has an even more interesting explanation. Normally, you can only consume a single devil fruit. This is because when you eat two, the two demons would clash and cause the user to die quickly. But the case of Blackbeard is different. First possibility to explain this is because his fruit would allow him to steal other people's Akumas no Mi, he would supposedly currently be in possession of two, second the one that previously belonged to Whitebeard. However, another explanation for Teach's rare case would be that he would possess two personalities or two souls within the same body. Some have even theorized that it would be the case of a twin brother inside him, which would make having several Akumas no mean nothing to him. This could justify how Burgess seemed to know how people could possess more than one devil fruit at the same time, as we sometimes see him mentioning. He was surprised to find out that Lucy was not Luffy as he originally thought, and that the one who ate the Mara Mara no Mi was Sabo. However, this means that Burgess thought it was Luffy who ate the Mara Mara, even though he was aware that he possessed the Goma Goma no Mi, so Burgess also assumed that Luffy had figured out how to have two devil fruits, and thus why Lucy went after him. This ends up raising some interesting questions, wouldn't Blackbeard be the only one capable of stealing Akuma's no Mi from some user's body? Burgess thought Luffy had two fruits, would that mean that anyone can have more than two Akumas no Mi, or is it just because they are both members of the D-Clan? Would that be somehow connecting them? And last but not least, would this make it so that Luffy could consume more than one devil fruit, just as we were thinking here at the beginning? Now, if this theory about why and how we believe Luffy will have a second devil fruit is correct, he does have one, what would it be? If the theory is correct that anyone can have more than two devil fruits, or more specifically, perhaps only those with the will of D, then that means that Luffy could have a second devil fruit if he so desired. Although something quite interesting and to be considered, seeing Luffy carrying two Akumas no Mi just, because he does, couldn't be cool, making things really much easier for him. Would make him simply step out of his rubber man mode into whatever other element he could, using his awakening in a totally different way than what we currently see. If only Gear 5's own awakening was able to cause such chaos among the community, who argued fervently, divided between whether it was a good choice or not, who knows what would happen if they said that Luffy really could use two Akumas no Mi. If it was really going to happen, it would have to be for a convenient reason that makes sense for the work, that matches his rubber powers or is connected to the very origin of the Hito Hito no Mi powers, Nika model, and most importantly, that Luffy is willing to eat and absorb the fruit. Luffy loves challenges, so if he were to possess another fruit, it would not necessarily be to get even stronger and win the title of Pirate King, but because he would really need it or should. When Luffy entered the competition for Mara Mara no Mi, he did it to win it so that no one else would eat it, because he believed that no one was eligible to take his brother's fruit. So he wanted to win it for himself to protect and keep it, not knowing that he could eat and possess it for himself if he wished. However, what if he happened to discover that he can eat a second devil fruit? Would he choose to eat it anyway? What would it be, and by whom would it be given? It would be quite interesting if the supposed fruit he could consume in the future was given to him by Shanks, no. After all, if we consider the idea that it was thanks to him that Luffy was able to eat Gomu Gomu no Mi in the past, whether it was planned or not, 
Whether it was within his plans or not, it would be quite interesting to see it happen. A theory on the internet suggested that this fruit delivered by Shanks himself to Luffy would actually be Mara Mara no Mi itself. Theory takes into consideration that after all the events with the revolutionaries and the beginning of the Great War of One Piece, Sabo would end up dying protecting someone, in a manner quite similar to Ace. Not necessarily protecting Luffy, but something, or someone. And then the fruit, as well as the message is death, would finally be passed on to Luffy who, meeting Shanks for the first time in so many years, would reveal that he would actually be able to consume two fruits. Mara Mara would carry with her not only the fire powers of the deceased characters, but also their ideologies and love within. The warmth of the brotherhood of these three, now placed in Luffy, who would fight Blackbeard and finally defeat him, as well as Akainu, in revenge after all they had done against the two. Luffy would be known as one of the most menacing and powerful Yonkos, raising his reward again, but also being properly recognized as the only person to possess two Akumas no Mi and make it out alive. How could we explain this? Well, the Mara Mara no Mi would make a lot of sense when we remember that the Gomu Gomu no Mi is actually the Hito Hito no Mi, model Nika being the supposed fruit of the sun god. Sun is related to fire, to rubber, and to a whole host of things. Another concept that was added to the awakening of this fruit is the breaking of reality, with Oda playing with the toon force and breaking laws of physics. The same could be added here, with Oda breaking the idea of Luffy suffering the contact of two Akumas no Mi on his body and them just merging into one or being able to work together. Here, he would beat any admiral head-on, scare the crap out of them just as Shanks does, but not necessarily with his hacky. Mara Mara's power goes with his rubber powers, like the Red Hawk Punch, which would be incredibly enhanced. This fruit wouldn't change Luffy much, and he wouldn't have to train the fruit much either. It would complement his style as well. Also, it's the only fruit that has the prestige of being eaten by the main character of the story, much more than a random devil fruit found by Shanks and suddenly delivered by him, no. But what about you? Do you think such a plot twist would be interesting? Do you think it would be cool to see Luffy defeating Akainu and Blackbeard using the Gomu Gomu and also the Mara Mara, avenging his brothers and achieving the title of the most powerful Yonkao? Would this way, at his peak, he would become the most powerful pirate of all in the new gen- Let us know what you think. That's it my straw hat pirate I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any suggestions for a video don't forget to comment below, because I'll be reading them all as I always do. Also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your pirate crew.